This is James Cook of the University of Maine at Augusta, and today we're going to talk about the perils of working with individual level data to, to think about social phenomena. Let's talk about health. Uh, it's important. We live, we die, we do well, we don't. It's a variable. Uh, and what if it's not just a physical variable? What if it's not just about medicalization in the body. Ross and Wu in the American Sociological Review in 1995 came out with a great article that had the idea that health is not just body care, it's a job, it's self-control, it's social support. That's a network idea. And in their literature review, they create network-sounding claims about being cared for, being loved, and part of a network of communication and obligation. What's more, that the age-adjusted mortality is higher for those without social network connections. So, unfortunately, in the actual data, they're stuck with an individual-level data set, and so they have to collect individual-level data, perceptions by individu individuals that there's someone that they can talk to, not information about social network structure being embedded in a network. It's individual level data, and because it's individual data, the authors are stuck with individual perception. What might they have discovered if they were able to use a social network data structure? 